that we all know and love Toyota for making some really fast, reliable, and some sick rally Joel, cut. Let's focus on the car that we're actually going to review today, mate. How about that? Fine. All right. So we all know and love Toyota for making some really reliable, fast Joel, rally cut. Bro, let's focus on the car that we're actually going to review today. This one right here. So we all know and love Toyota for making some really fast, <laughs> reliable rally cars. And that's exactly what we've got here today, Yadu. That's what it is. This right here is a 1994 Toyota Celica GT4 Group A Rally Eye in Super White 2. Welcome back to Wheel Spin, guys, where we bring the sickest cars from the streets straight to your screen. Presented by myself, Yadu. And Joel. And today we've got the 1994 Toyota Celica GT4 Group A Rally Eye in Super White 2. That is genuinely the manufacturer's name for this car. You can yeah. find it on car sales. So this thing right here is a homogolin, hom fuck, homogolinous, what is it? Homogolinous? Homologous? Homologation. So this right here is a homologation car that Toyota developed to compete in the World Rally Championships. Much like the GI Yaris, this shares a lot of its heritage. You didn't need to get the GI Yaris in the shot. All right, Yado, I think we have a look at the front of this car and let's start start from off the, the top, bat. man. Start, start from, from the top. top. These, I forgot what they're called. <laughs> I forgot what they're called as well, <laughs> but they look thick. That's all that matters. Honestly, but they actually do serve a function from what I can remember, and they feed cold air into the bonnet, which is really good. <laughs> <laughs> well, as Joel explains the basic functions of a car, let's move on to the further. Uh, the hood scoop, um, which actually does serve a function, and I know what that does, and it takes cold air into the engine bay. <laughs> what That's what I meant to say before. <laughs> And we've also got these weird looking things here, which are actually the bonnet Boot releases. releases. Boot releases. Oh, bonnet releases. Bonnet That's releases. Yada, do you know your car functionality in the basic? Go to the bottom. All right, let's get, let's, look at, let's take a look at the bottom. So everything here is very Celica like. Um, anything <laughs> um, from uh, pre 2004 look pretty much like this thing. Yeah. Um, however, they have done quite a lot to make this thing very rally oriented. It doesn't take um, like a genius to figure out that there's a rally car. Almost every sticker on it, the mud flaps, the rims, and these two big rally lights right at the front. They're huge. It screams out rally car. And that's- 100%. This car is not modified. This is genuinely how Toyota intended it from factory. Yep. And uh, by any chance, if you take this to a rally track and you do put it into a tree, it clearly says that's where you tow it from. And it's also got a, if you mess up the car's battery for some reason, <laughs> um, it's also got the battery location right there on a sticker, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that is cool. These cars are actually a part of homologation cars that Toyota makes. Mm -hmm. Much like the GR Yaris, they actually need to make road going versions of this particular car for them to actually be able to compete in the World Rally Championship. They made 2,500 versions of these in the JDM market. 77 Australian version. This right here is an actual JDM import with a JDM bin. That's right. Apart from that, the front is very Celica like and not much else to really talk about. So how about you guys follow us to the side where we check it out. It's, it looks like a Celica. That's all I can really say. However, those massive high-vis colored mud flaps just scream rally as well as these rims right here. Oh, you see yeah. these on Subies, you can see these, you can picture this style on a lot of these rally style cars, and that's exactly what this is. It's one of those things where you just want to chuck onto a rally truck and go, mm. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore that comment, <laughs> but I'll be honest <laughs> with you, I wasn't sold on Salikas, nah. even the, this generation. Neither was I. The new ones, not the biggest fan of them. However, you'll see why later on I love this thing. But look, let's be honest, it does look pretty sick, and obviously following on from the theme of the car, when you move to the back of it. Yadu changing the angle of the car. Doesn't Yadu look like the demographic of people that would actually drive a car like this? Yeah, the normal Celica, sorry, not the, not the GT4. Um, the normal Celica. So we've turned the car around so we can take a look at the back of the car. Oh, have you? Yeah. Um, the keys are out of the ignition, <laughs> but that's a race car, so it's you know. Still, it's still running. It's um, just how it is. It'll eventually turn off. Yeah. Should we wait for it to turn off? Nah, nah. Taking a look at the back of the car, what screams out to you the most? Uh, two things. <laughs> um, this massive spoiler, which is pretty sick, I'll be honest. It makes it look more like a Mark IV Supra, yeah. which, to be honest, from the rear, it's not terribly far off. And I think Toyota's done a pretty good job of designing the rear. Yeah, much like the Supra from this era, which was intended to be a road-going machine, they built this to be able to tackle the rally track. 100%. And I was actually told from the owner that this part of the spoiler here 
is actually JDM specific. The car's turned off. Car's turned off. <laughs> this part of the spoiler here is actually JDM specific, which the Australian domestic market version's got a shorter spoiler. And it has GZ4 written along the side of it, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Now moving on lower down the car, another thing you notice that big, big, big exhaust. That's now, right. is that from Factory Yardu? Uh, that is not from Factory. <laughs> I have taken a look at thousands of photos of this car, and that it's, is not, it's definitely not the exhaust that this thing comes with. However, um, welcome addition, I think, fits very well in with the rest of the car. Absolutely. Um, another thing that you notice, very basic Celica headlights. Yeah. Um, tail lights, sorry. Yeah, uh, in fact, um, everything except for this and that is actually exactly as it is in the Celica. <laughs> and you like, get a little no GT4 badge there, which is pretty cool as That's well. That's sick. That's pretty cool. And obviously, thank you to Canon Motors for letting us review this car as well. That's right. Special specific shout out to Harry from Canon Motors. Absolutely. If you guys have any needs car related, take it there. They're the people, they know their thing, so yeah. That's what you are. Um, and yeah, now that we've taken a look at the outside of the car, I think it's only fitting we have a look at the interior because it is pretty cool and it's not something that you see every day. So, Yadu, let's go. Let's go. Wait, I lost the keys. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll um, cut. cut. <laughs> yeah, cut. Uh, let's get in. Oh my God. There we go. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yado and Joel didn't really do a comprehensive review of the exterior. We kind of laughed off a lot of it. <laughs> that's because that's exactly what this car represents. Both on the outside and the inside, it is just a Celica with a bunch of stickers on and just made to look and drive better on a rally track. Absolutely. And um, from initial impressions, it definitely is stiff, yeah. um, to say the least. Power steering is almost non-existent, like many 90s, 90s Toyotas. Samir! Samir! Take the lift, Samir! Take the lift, take the lift! Take the lift, Samir! <laughs> Tommy, can you please concentrate? Please, please, I beg you! We are wrecking the car! We didn't go that fast, right? Yeah, but it but feels, it feels amazing because you feel absolutely everything. Rest in peace, Ken Block, Jim Carner, right, flying the car Absolutely. right over. Oh shit. All right. Now while Joel calms down a little bit, <laughs> I will be going through some things about the interior that I like. Um, firstly, it is exactly the same as a normal Celica. And when I say exactly the same, aside from the aftermarket gauges that the owner has fit in, the rest of it is very Celica. And what I like about the very Celica-like is the Celica was made to sort of replicate the same feel as a Supra mm. in terms of interior. It's nowhere close to a Mark IV Supra. It's not, But it achieves what it does best. And I think it, it gives that 90s JDM vibe Absolutely. super nicely. When you're sitting in here, it does have that Supra-esque feel to it because the way that the dash kind of wraps in around the driver, it's very driver focused, which I love. And these shifts, oh, yeah, once you start driving it, you'll understand. I've driven the GR Yaris. You have also taken it for a drive. Absolutely. This thing drives, in my opinion, far more like what that thing wants to drive like. Do you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like that thing wants to go like this does, but the way this thing just goes is insane. But just even cruising at, what, 90 right now? It feels very calm in here. Even though it is designed for a rally experience, when you're just taking it for a daily drive, it's not intolerable, sorry. Uh, yeah, me and Joel spoke about this before the review. We were like, you know, every video we do, we talk about the daily drivability of the Absolutely. car and owning it. This is not <laughs> just not something you put into that category. You don't. Um, even you the don't. GI Yaris, yeah, I get it. People are like, it's not really a daily driving car. I get it. You know, in the future, it'll be a future future classic. But absolutely. But that's what this is, though. This is actually a classic. All right, guys. So in the spirit of every video we've done, mm. we've talked about the practicality. This is just like a Celica. You have decent sized door bins. There's no cup holders, which is a bit of a shame. There's no cup holders in anywhere in this car, but there's also from 1994. I guess that it wasn't common to have cup holders in cars. No, back it then. wasn't. Um, aside from that, you know, we have to talk about the rally gear in here. There's a huge controller right in front of me that's bolted into the dash that just has an insane amount of controls on it. 
there's a boost gauges all over this thing, water temp gauges. There's a factory boost gauge in the dash. Right here. No, no, oh, not there. In there. In there, there. Is. there is. There's an actual aftermarket boost gauge, but there's actually a factory boost gauge in there, just That's like right. the Supra. That didn't come in a normal cell. That didn't. Which is it cool. didn't. That's pretty uh, sick. It did come in a normal GT4, which would, which is what this car was sort of civilized and they made. Based on so, yeah, exactly yeah. right. Um, but aside from that, you have the six, uh, the six point harness. Six point harness. I'm Rocket not wearing range. it right now. He's not wearing it. I'm gonna but. wear it. To see. <laughs> um, that you've got that in the Recaro. It's very driver focused. The owner has done just the right amount of light touches to yeah. create this sort of thing. Absolutely, and it feels like a rally car at the end of the day, that's yeah. because it is. Oh, and the Momo steering wheel. The Momo steering wheel, Momo how do steering we forget? Wheel. This um, is sick. It is great, it is it's a lot of grip. A lot of grip. A lot yeah, of grip. You, you get a lot of feedback from the road naturally from this car, Yeah. but I think this steering wheel just adds to it even more, and it just gives you that confidence to really put Push it into it. a corner, and it, it does a great job of it as well, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Back seats, it'll fit Sunil. I don't think it'll fit anyone else in the That's world. That's a violation. Uh, <laughs> but, I'm the Sunil's fitting in that. Uh, look, it, it is a bit cramped. However, uh, it is exactly what the GI Yaris is. The GI Yaris is this, but just newer. Newer. And, and they've kept Absolutely. the same recipe. Um, it even, I'm not even gonna lie, it it, 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 on straight lines, this thing is more stable than that. Yeah, <laughs> mate, right into a roundabout. Hey, would you look at that? I didn't install it. I'm gonna let Yaru have his little bit of fun in this before I start to speak. Triple caution! Triple caution! Oh, 
that exhaust sounds great. I'll be honest, it sounds amazing. I've uh, got a little bit of poo in my pants. <laughs> this is great! <laughs> I love this thing! This is so fun. So, Yaru, put it now. Shift, mate. Call it a day. Call it a day. I think now we've had a look at the interior, the exterior, how it drives. There's a couple of things left to do. First things first, Yaru, wanted level. I'm going to be straight up with you. This is a five out of five star wanted level. <laughs> not a, not a lie. It's not be play legal by two kilowatts per ton. But from the outside, <laughs> I think you're gonna be getting a fair few looks, looks from the uh, the boys in blue, I reckon. Without a doubt, mate. Without a doubt. So my personal rating, five stars. I'll, I'll be straight up. Yeah, I, I also agree. The problem this car has is Toyota has given it a lot of livery from like the factory. Yeah. But all the livery that Toyota sells, eBay also sells now. That so, is true. Um, that's the real issue with this car is the fact that the design of it is something that like an Accord Euro fanboy with $50 on eBay can also achieve. That is true, that um, is true. For that reason, this is a red hot car. All right, so most of the nature of these homologous cars is that they are kind of loud, rowdy. They look very illegal, but they're completely factory. They which are. Which means if you get pulled over by the cops, the suspicion might be there of like, oh, you've modded up your car, whatever. Yeah. But everything in here, including the blow-off valve, is exactly how Toyota made it. So it does pass the roadworthy and Absolutely. everything as it is. Cops pull you over, mate. If this is stock, you can be like, it's completely stock, officer. What do you mean? Yeah. Uh, first five out of five. First five, first out, five out of that's five. That's right. Yeah. First five out of five. Well, there you go. That's the one level on this car. That's right.